Hi, I'm Stephanie Massacott, host of Saskatoon Morning. I have come out to the Canadian Light Source to meet up with senior scientist Toby Bond, who's doing some amazing research here. Good morning, Good Toby. Good morning. Thank you for visiting us. What is the problem that you wanted to solve by using the Canadian Light Source? Sure. So a big area of interest right now in electric vehicles is trying to make batteries last as long as they possibly can. How long does a typical battery last right now? So uh, we're starting to find that out. <laughs> the best we can do ahead of time, right? We want batteries ideally for EVs that would last at least 10 or 15 years. Uh, and in the US, they're mandated by law. They have to warranty them for a minimum of eight years uh, where they can't lose less than 80% of their original uh, capacity, the amount of charge that they can store. Uh, so they're definitely beating that by a pretty healthy margin. And you know, keep in mind, the first EVs came out about 14 years ago. So those are just starting to kind of reach end of life now. But we're starting to figure out that they're, they're lasting longer than we expected. Ideally, how long would EV car makers like to see batteries last? Sure. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see if we can get to the point where the battery uh, isn't the limiting component of the vehicle, mm -hmm. if it's the last thing to fail. We don't know what else is going to fail first, right? <laughs> I mean, we expect they have, they have uh, fewer moving parts than a conventional car, so we expect them to last longer. They don't need as much maintenance. Um, but ideally, you know, if we can have batteries that could be reused for, for a, a future EV, could be refurbished uh, and, uh, and last, you know, on the order of decades, uh, that would be ideal. How does the Canadian Light Source play into this research? Sure. So we have a lot of uh, really useful tools here. Uh, for, for understanding these batteries. So I've got one right here. Uh, this is uh, set up on uh, our X-ray imaging facility. Uh, so this is, we call this BMIT for short. It stands for Biomedical Imaging and Therapy. <laughs> we designed it for imaging things like tumors and soft tissues uh, uh, in biological samples, but we use it for all kinds of things. So when we bring batteries in here, what we can do is we can take uh, CT scans, which are kind of like a 3D X-ray. Uh, and you know, you might have had one in a hospital and, and, and seen what it looks like. We can do that on a microscopic level with a battery without taking it apart. That's one of the biggest things that we can do here is we can actually look at that, uh, you know, look at features that are much smaller than human hair inside the battery without even uh, uh, disassembling it. Wow. And so that's one of the ways that we're able to track things like, uh, like degradation, even when they're in the very early stages. So we can do a lot of prediction of how long the battery is going to last based on this kind of imaging. There is a new type of battery. Can you tell us how it differs from the old? Sure. So uh, most conventional batteries, when you go and look on, at them at the microscopic level, um, they're made of these uh, tiny little particles uh, that look essentially like snowballs. They're, they're, they're on the microscopic level. Uh, they're little balls full of tiny crystals, uh, just like snowflakes. And uh, when you charge and discharge a battery, lithium atoms go into the material and back out. And they actually cause the material to expand and contract. They go between the atoms of the material. And when you expand and contract a bunch of times, eventually you get all these cracks forming and signs of fatigue. Uh, and this new type of battery is something called a single crystal battery, which is more like an ice cube than a snowball. Uh, it's, it's just one big crystal, uh, and it's much harder to crack. So if you hold a snowball in your hand and an ice cube in your hand, uh, it's a lot harder to crack the ice cube than snowball, right? So uh, this new type of battery, we cycled here. Uh, we, we charged it and discharged it 24-7 for uh, about six years. And we brought it here uh, and, and scanned it, and we saw absolutely no signs of degradation. So this is after 20,000 charge-discharge cycles, which is the equivalent of driving about 8 million kilometers. So uh, that's the kind of battery that would far outlast the lifetime of an EV and would be really useful for grid energy storage. Do you know approximately how many years that would last? I know it depends how much people sure. drive, but. Absolutely. Well, I mean, under these abusive conditions, I can <laughs> say it's at least six. OK. Because <laughs> we cycled it for six, for sure. Uh, if you were to uh, cycle this all the way to zero and back uh, to 100% once a day, it would last you about 54 years. 